brother. So Ben, check it out. My new phone case came in the mail last week and I win. <laughs> Ben, today I'm going to talk about Scars. No, not Scar the Disney villain, although he is a great villain, but not the best Disney villain. That is, of course, Gaston. Nobody says no to Gaston. I feel bad for Gaston because I feel like Disney built him wrong because what's his weakness supposed to be? Arrogance. But here's the thing. His arrogance is totally justifiable. He is the best at everything. He's the best hunter and fighter, like the fight at the end. Oh, the beast should not have won that fight. It should... You know what? That's another video. You know what Gaston doesn't have, Ben? Scars. But I do, Ben. In fact, I picked up a new one this weekend if you want to take a closer look. Closer. Closer. Can you see it? Can you see it? No? Okay, closer. Ah, no! Whoa! Okay, too close, too close. I think you just went through the back of my head. I hope you didn't see anything weird in there. What did you see? What did you see? Tell me. That doesn't matter. You can probably see my new head wound from here, especially since I'm not wearing my glasses. That's okay, I'm sacrificing my vision for yours. Whoa. But I was pretty upset when this happened, Ben, because it's hard to hide a face scar. Can you see it? Well, this thing continues to be a great investment. But Ben, how am I supposed to continue my illustrious modeling career with this monstrosity? I'm a monster! Actually, normally they just cut my head off in the ad anyway. You just see the clothes I'm wearing. Whatever. <laughs> but it does concern me, Ben, because for the rest of my life, people are gonna be like, oh my god, what happened? And I'm gonna have to give them this great scar story. Like this one here on my side actually has a really great story. I had a metal bar inserted into my chest to pop it out because it was caved in and it hurt like hell, but I did have a chest of steel, <laughs> ladies. Although to be fair, if you so much as like flicked me in the chest, I would have been out of commission for like an hour. And this one right here I got while I was riding my bike down a hill, or should I say mountain, I crashed into the guardrail going at least 45 miles an hour. I barely avoided cascading down the side of the mountain, bounced back into oncoming traffic. The ambulance barely made it there. But this, is less impressive. You know those awesome like above ground Walmart pools you can set up in your backyard? Well me and like four other 25 year old guys were playing basketball in one of those last weekend and by basketball I mean that one of us had the ball and the other four were basically trying to tackle us until they had the ball and then it was their turn to be tackled. And I know what you're thinking, wow you guys are playing like a bunch of 10 year olds. Well let me submit to you that maybe 10 year olds play like 25 year olds. Anyway, I went to dunk the ball. You know, your typical behind the back 360 windmill. <laughs> no big deal. But then, Paul got in the way. Paul! And long story short, we slammed heads and I started bleeding all over the place. Yeah, but you should have seen the other guy, right? <laughs> Paul didn't bleed at all. Just me. But that's the cool thing about Scars, Ben. They do tell stories, so maybe this isn't that bad. But my question for you and everybody else is, what is your best scar? What is the story behind it? And what should I tell people happened to my eye? Let me know down in the towel section below. Also, if you'd like to leave your scar on this channel, feel free to send us something at this address and we will add it to the wall. Woo! That's it for me, Ben, but I will see you in another life, brother. I'm a monster! <laughs> I never want to do that one more than once. I always feel like everyone can hear me. <laughs>